Hello and welcome to video number 11 in Embolden's video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to apply custom styles on your page in the editor. Um, custom styles are similar to uh, header styles, for example. Um, a header is an HTML element. Um, custom styles are what are called custom classes, actually, in something called CSS. Um, which basically is works similarly to how headers work. Headers are something built into HTML. Um, a heading one or a heading two or a heading three is an actual HTML element. These custom classes, these CSS classes are custom things we've designed for you. They're styles that you can apply to some text or to an image or to a table or whatever. And we'll get into how you would use them a little later. Um, but you would apply to something and it defines how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to work. Um, and it should be consistent across, a, across your site. So today we're going to talk about uh, the quote style, which is a style that we created for the Kalamazoo Community Foundation, um, which is the sort of the, they've given us their website and we made a, a demo copy of it um, to, to use for this demo. Um, so we'll be, we'll be using that. Uh, but there are other types of styles that we can create. We can create styles for just about any sort of situation. Um, so. The big difference between a custom class um, and a header style, aside from the fact that a header style is an HTML element and a custom class is something as a class within your CSS, and that's a little uh, esoteric, um, but the practical difference in how you apply them is with a header style, if I wanted to make this a header, I just click in here and I go to this first drop down and I choose, say, heading two, and now it's a heading. Um, I'm going to switch it back to normal. Um, if I want to make this a class and I just click in here and apply the class, I use this third drop dropdown. Um, and if I choose the quote class, what we'll see is it's only going to apply it to that one word I had selected. Um, and how this will work may vary depending on what browser you're on because different browsers tend to interpret uh, the code that is used to build this editor um, slightly differently. But um, what you generally want to do to apply the quote class, if we want this whole line to be kind of a call out pull quote, um, you could either highlight all the text and then apply the quote class. Um, I don't tend to like to do it that way and I don't want to go too much into the details of why, um, but rather than select the text and apply, apply it to the text, which will create a span tab that wraps around, wraps around the text, um, I prefer to click in here and then down here where I have this little HTML troubleshooting thing where it's going to show me what HTML is wrapped around my cursor, um, I'm clicked into this paragraph, I can click on this P to select the P tag, which is the paragraph tag, and now when I apply this custom class, it's actually going to apply it to the paragraph tag itself, rather than create a span tag within the paragraph that wraps around the text. Again, super wonky, super esoteric, you don't need to know the details. Um, both ways should work for most situations. Um, this is just technically a little bit more accurate and better of a way to do it. Um, so I've selected my paragraph and I just go up here and I select quote and this is now the quote class. And so we happen to have styled the quote class to look like this. It has, you know, borders on the top and bottom. It has this nice little graphic here. It's this specific shade of goldish color. Uh, if we change this at some point, if for whatever reason Kalamazoo Community Foundation said, you know, we want to get rid of that leaf or we want this to be uh, this blue teal color instead of the gold, uh, we can just make that one change to the style sheet rather than having to go across every single page where this quote existed and update them. Um, and that's one of the big benefits of using cascading style sheets rather than trying to define inline styles or that sort of thing. So that's how you apply styles. We will be seeing these more and more when we talk about tables and when we talk about images. So this will come up again. If, we, if you notice in here, most of the styles we've defined for this site have to do with images or have to do with tables, and so there's not a lot of them to use. Um, but you may have quote styles, you may have something called large text or intro text or first paragraph or, or something. It's really going to depend on the design of your specific site. Um, so up next, we're going to start talking about tables and then links and some other web stuff.